Hey, it's Reed from Emerald Lotus Divination, and today we're gonna to be making ourselves a spiritual spray. This is something I love to do because I find that they can be quite expensive to purchase, and I like to customize my sprays to focus on whatever I'd like to focus on. Sometimes that's specific chakras or problems in my life, but I also like to use it just to cleanse my aura and to cleanse my spaces as well. These type of sprays are most commonly aura sprays or cleansing sprays, but you can also create them to help with manifestation, confidence, creativity, focus, love, and honestly just anything else that you desire or that you feel drawn to do. So to get started on our spray, you'll need a few things. We'll go further in depth in each of these items as we create the spray, but just a quick glance over at the items you'll need is water, vodka, gin, witch hazel, or rubbing alcohol essential oils, and a spray bottle. It's best to have a dark colored glass like brown or blue, but honestly, I've used a light color plastic spray bottle from the dollar store in the past and it was fine. Just be careful that the ingredients can eat away at the bottle and keeping them in a darker container will also help to maintain the integrity of the ingredients. Some optional items you can include are crystals and any labels or decorations that you'd like to use on the outside of your bottle. The first step is the easy part. You really just have to decide what you want your spray to be. Do you want it to cleanse your auric field? Do you want it to clear space in your home? Do you want it to help you feel more grounded, more energized, more creative? Basically, all you have to do now is decide the intention you'd like to set for your spray. And once you have that intention set, it makes it easier to figure out what type of essential oil, water, crystal, or any decorations you wanna use on your bottle, because choosing selectively can be sure to enhance the vibrational intent of your specific concern or desire. Step two is our water. Depending on your intention, you might want to do different things with your water. If you're looking for positivity, energy, creativity, or strength, you might want to leave your water to sit in the sunlight for a day or so, or at least a few hours, to absorb the energy of the beautiful sunlight. You can leave a jar or glass of water directly outside or inside by a window. Rainwater is another option that you have. You can leave your jar outside to catch rainfall. Rainwater can be best for purifying and cleansing, as well as balancing your emotions and getting in touch with them. Similarly, moon water can help you achieve a lot of those intentions. If you look up the current moon phase, you'll be able to see what phase you're in while you're making your spray. You might want to plan to make your spray around a full moon, new moon, or eclipse. Right now, as of filming this video, the moon is in its last quarter, which would make a wonderful time for creating a releasing spray. Crystal water is another option. You can adorn your water with crystals alongside it to help amplify the energy you're trying to incorporate. Same goes with blessed water. This would be different for many people just depending on their spiritual practices and beliefs, but one way I like to bless my water is by pulling tarot cards to represent the type of energy I want to include in my spray. For instance, if I want to manifest, I'll include the magician, the star, and maybe some positive cards like the nine of cups, nine of pentacles. Oracle cards work really well here too. I don't see people talk about doing this that often, but it's something I've done for years in a lot of my spell work and rituals. I always love to include tarot, as I'm sure you can imagine. Next up are the essential oils. It's always good to have nice high quality oils, but right now I have some pretty low quality ones that I just got as soon as I came to London. But regardless, <laughs> you'll want to choose essential oils to put in your spray. You can mix oils and use multiple, or you can keep it simple and just stick to one. Some of my favorite common essential oils are orange, which is good for uh, energy, luck, mood boosting, so good for depression. It's fresh and it's good for attracting new. It was used in ancient China and it works well with sun water. It's good for sacral chakra healing as well. In my spray, I'm also gonna be using lavender, which is good for calm, intuitive, love, protecting against negative energy. It also helps with anxiety. It works really well with moon water, but of course you can use it with any type of water. It's good for third eye chakra and heart chakra as well. It was used in ancient Greece, Rome, Egypt, medieval and Renaissance France, and 17th century England and onward. Looking into the historical significance of the essential oils can also be something you can explore if it resonates with you and it's a good way to get in touch with your ancestry. 
frankincense is another one of my favorites and it's really good for the auric field connecting to spirit calming hormone balance it's good for your crown chakra it's originally from east africa and the middle east specifically the arabian peninsula this oil was shipped to other parts of the mediterranean india china it's been used for thousands of years in various cultures and traditions from egyptian mummification to medieval religious rituals which makes it kind of fun to use the next step is we're going to grab our alcohol. This can be vodka, gin, as I said. It can also be rubbing alcohol or witch hazel works as well. But the alcohol will help prevent bacteria in your spray and keep it lasting long. But it's something that you can absolutely omit if you don't have these ingredients. You can always just use water and essential oils. It's important here to make your sacred space so that it fills the bottle with more positive and potent energy. You can include items from your space that make you feel good or elicit the type of energy you want to include. For instance, if you were to be making a grounding spray, you might want to consider bringing in some earth tones, plants, or stones to surround you while you mix and create your spray. All of these additions will help to increase the vibration of your spray. But for the sake of this video, I kept my workspace clean just so that you could see exactly what I was doing. You'll want a 60% water to 40% alcohol ratio in your bottle. Be careful not to make a mess like I did. But if you do, you know, you can always just clean it up. I decided to go with lavender, frankincense, and orange. These are the essential oils I explained earlier in the video because I really wanted my spray to be helpful in manifesting and magic. Because these are low quality essential oils, the dropper really wasn't that good. So I just kind of dumped the oil into the bottle and because they're not very high quality, they ended up not being super potent anyways. So this part will really just take some trial and error <laughs> about 20 drops should do you but you might have to spray it or smell it to see and if you're curious on what kind of scents to use in your spray bottle you can always put them in an essential oil diffuser before actually creating your bottle to see if you like the way that they smell all together once all of our ingredients are mixed in the bottle we can add some crystals if we want black tourmaline and obsidian are great for warding off negative energy Amethyst is good for peace, healing, and spiritual awareness. Quartz amplifies energy and is good for healing. But be careful to do some research on the type of stones that you're including because you don't want to include any softer stones like amber, lapis, or turquoise like I have here because they can be eaten away. Just as a rule of thumb, I never personally include any crystals that are really important to me just in fear of having them disintegrate. I typically just use broken crystals or little small ones that I have laying around. And once we've mixed all of our ingredients, we can create our label. It's important that you write on your bottle so you don't forget what you've created and what you've included inside. But since I don't personally have any labels, I just decided to put a sticker on it to help me remember that I made this spray for attracting abundance and manifesting. Hence the cute little Lucky Care Bear. You can decorate your bottle in any way that resonates with you. And of course you can choose not to put anything on it at all. And that's it. That's how you make your own witchy aura cleansing spray or mist. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.